everybody, I'm going to be showing you how to automatically get your keyboard to be cute and kawaii. So first thing that I do is I like to go to internet, which I pre pulled it up because of I tried to film this video once already and it was showing my personal information so I pre film this. So I just googled Hello Kitty Transparent and you want to go to images. You want to find ones that you'd like. So, I'm going to choose, hmm, let's go with this. But that's not transparent, so we can't use it. So, let's go back up here. I press that, see if it's transparent, yes it is. Hold down and press save image. Sorry about that, I had to switch my filming locations and I had to plug in my iPod which is what I use to film my videos. So basically I'm just saving that transparent image. Then I'm going to search for another one, so say I want to use this computer one which is really very cute. And because it's transparent, I'm going to press down on it and press save image. Okay, so next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go and hit our home button. And I'm going to press Autodesk Sketchbook. Okay, so I'm going to press New Sketch, I'm going to hit Screen. Then, after I hit that, I'm just going to press this button right here, which will be like two squares, and then I'm going to press Background. After I hit Background is when I go to the pink, it looks red, but it's the pink colors, and I use the Copic section of it, and I always go to, um, RV52 because that's cotton candy. Then we want to press this, which is going to pop up with an option list, and we're going to hit import image. Okay, and I'm going to press downloads, which is going to show all of your recent downloads. And I'm going to press this cute little thing right here. And you're going to want to blow it up and hit the check mark. Then I'm going to add one more, and I'm, actually I'm going to add two more. I'm going to go to that same downloads um, section, and I'm just going to press this. And then I'm going to press the check mark. I'm going to press it again, do the same thing. I'm going to press that. And boom. Then I go to gallery. I hit save current sketch. That's not how a lot of people do it, but that's how I personally like to do it. Whenever I'm creating my keyboard skins, a lot of people will hit save to device, which is under share. But for me personally, that doesn't share it to the right place. So then I like to go to um, PixArt, which sometimes PixArt can take a good minute to load. I'm sorry about the shakiness, but it's because of I don't have a tripod right now that's on my desk where I'm not able to plug my iPod in. So I'm using my hand to hold my iPod. And you want to hit the plus button. Hit edit. And I'm just going to press that. And I'm just going to press the back button. 
and then it should just automatically go to it. And if it doesn't, don't feel afraid to press that button again. It will just take you right to your image. And then I go to crop. And now this is where we're going to determine how we want our crop to be. Which I kind of already have like a visualization as to where I want my crop to be. Because of I do this so often. And then you just want to hit the check mark. So that's right about the size you want it to be. And I hit sticker. And I press the um, glitter. And I just move it to where I want it to go. And I just repeat the same process like a million times. And because I'm sure you guys probably just didn't want to watch me applying glitter for like a half hour, I just went ahead and did that by myself. I'm going to press sticker and I'm going to go back to the glitter. And this is my last step for this part is I just enlarging it to make it very, very big. And so I have just big pieces of glitter on my keyboard. And I press the check mark. Then you would press the next button up there in the corner and press save and then save and you're done. So now we're just going to cheat a keyboard. And it's going to take us to a home screen. You just want to press DIY. And then I'll pull up this screen where you just choose backgrounds. There's going to be a button right there, which is for your gallery, and you just want to press it. It's going to take you to your gallery, and then you choose the picture that you want. So I'm just going to press that right there. And a lot of the times for me, it does not cooperate, so I'm just going to try to get it on there for one second. So it's been about literally 20 minutes, and I finally got it to pop up. Because I had to restart my phone. It was, it's all on my phone, I promise. Hit OK. It's going to pop up like that. So then you're just going to go to the keys option. I like to choose these ones, which will automatically pop up like this. Don't worry, just take down the opacity. And then you want to go to fonts. Personally, I like really fancy fonts, so I either always go with either this or this. And then I'm going to just set my keys, like my letters, on pink. And then you just want to choose a sound that comes out whenever you do it. Um, I don't ever worry about it, I just use the stock one. And then I always set this as my effect when it is available. Because sometimes it decides to be really rude and doesn't allow you to have the theme you want. So yeah, it's just a really cute sparkle effect. And then I hit save. Now I'm going to just name it um, Kawaii Hello Kitty. Um, so I was looking while I was waiting to see if there's a way of sharing the themes that you make. And there, sadly, is not. But I think that should be a thing, though. You should be allowed to share your themes. So I was holding down on it, and I'm like, okay, well, maybe an option for share will pop up, but no. 
So I decided, especially now, that I'm definitely going to post this video because it's only fair to you guys so you know how to get these. So yeah, that's how you get a really cute and kawaii keyboard. Um, I hope you liked this video and that it was helpful. Um, I'm currently on another theme from my last video and I'm working on a separate couple other pages and I'm going to show you guys in a separate video how to get a really cute and kawaii lock screen. So, bye!